with us tonight. Uh, I wanted to recognize how many people are here. I, I don't know what the total is, but I heard it's somewhere around 300 people, which is pretty cool. Thanks to the sponsors that fed us and gave us drinks and everything tonight. Pizza Hut, Atlantic Bottling, Coca-Cola, Baradas, Central Iowa Building Trades, and South Central Iowa Federation of Labor. Thanks for all of you for making this happen tonight. So let's get rolling. Cheryl Winsonan is the co-chair of the Polk County Republicans. Tom Henderson is the chairman of the Polk County Democrats. They'll tell you a little bit about their involvement with these over the years. What we're gonna do tonight is an abbreviated version of it. And I know Tom's gonna talk further about how the caucus history came to be. But it really is um, a, a great form of government and it's a, a great way to get your points across along the way. This is grassroots democracy at its best. And at a time when we're spending lots of money uh, in advertising to get candidates elected, this is a time when you really get to go to an event and express your opinions, more than just voting. This is a time where you'll have a chance to express your opinion on policy issues that are really important. Thank you very much for being here tonight. We're gonna to try to give you as accurate an example of what a Democratic caucus would be like as we possibly can. The only difference is instead of presidential candidates, you're gonna have issues to caucus for, but I think you're gonna find this really interesting and um, you'll be able to contrast it to uh, the Republican caucus. And I don't know how theirs works, so I'm gonna be interested to hear about that when we're all done. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Any opposed say nay. Because <laughs> you are the leadership that's going to grow and make sure women get the same pay as men in colleges and any other business. Do you know in this state that we rank number 50 when it comes to women entrepreneurship? You can make that change because it's about what? Say it with me. Human? Human. That's we. Human? Human. And civil rights. Do it again. Civil rights. Human and civil rights. Join me in my coffee. Thank you. You will pick one issue and go stand by the person who leads that issue. Again, we've got education over here, jobs and unemployment over here, civil rights here, health care here, and gun control over there. Ten minutes starts now. He doesn't need all those cookies in the gallery. Let's see if we can get some of those folks from here. He doesn't need this many people. Let's go over to Jack's and I'm Come on, come on. <laughs> What do you think of all this tonight, the turnout? It's really cool. Um, you know, I didn't think there would be as many people as there would as there are here, but it was kind of cool to learn how this process works, especially now that I'm old enough to be a registered voter. And so it's kind of cool. And what, what do you think of this, the, the process over here on the Democratic side, this, this cajoling and, and arm twisting? It's very interesting. It's almost like a little mini battle. And, uh, it's, it's really... It's really interesting, you know, it's not it's not as secretive and it's it's battling for it, you know? And that's kind of what politics is in general, you know, it's a battle to try and get certain things to work. And so it's really cool. Well I think it's a great way because I'm thinking about being a lawyer. So yeah. I think it's great experience. If you wanted to, to nominate the person to run against President Obama at the time, you had to be a registered Republican to participate in the caucus. So that's why registering to vote is important, and that's why it's important to be part of a, a political party. And we're going to elect our delegates and alternates. These are the people who will go forward to the county, the district, and the state convention if we were actually having a full caucus. There's one caveat of this this evening, and that is if you were elected in the other caucus, you are not eligible to be either a delegate or an alternate. But what was the most interesting thing that came out of it? Um, the most interesting thing that came out of it for me was when um, I got to get involved with um, the theme a little bit. I was at first going for the Republican side um, for all the things, but then once I heard the Democrats' point of view for the civil rights, that made me shift gears to the Democrat side so that um, I still support Republicans a little bit, but um, Democrats, you have to vote for the civil rights, so I strongly support them. 
I'd probably have to say the most uh, interesting part for this uh, mock caucus was just being here, the environment that the Democrats and Republicans have made, it was fun, educational, I'm just having a great time, and um, I really enjoy how my fellow classmates have voted me to be the delegate. <laughs> That's a future candidate right there. <laughs> Sign him up. And I think that's extremely powerful when a representative shows that they care enough to take time out of their day to talk to us who are in high school or going to be voting in the future about what they stand for and how we can impact the future. Well, the reason that I feel strongly about women's rights is because, well, partly because I am a woman. And I, I think that, like, a big problem right now with, um, women don't get the same pay as men in the workplace. And I think that is just ridiculous because like 100 years ago, I don't think people put this into perspective, we didn't even have the right to vote. And I don't know if any of you are big Twitter users, but I've been seeing this generic post a lot about finals that says, remember ladies, it doesn't matter how well you do on your finals as long as your future husband does well on his. And to me, that's like a slap in the face, three steps forward, two steps back. I think women need to realize that we are equal to men and we need to stand up more for ourselves. I'd like to bring up a problem that I've already talked about tonight that is uh, the problem of safety of women in the military. Uh, there are many women in the military who are working to protect our country, the country you live in, that are too scared to report that they are being raped. And that is a problem in today's society. If they can't report to their senior officer because their senior officer is the one who raped them, and that's something that a lot of people don't want to talk about, but it's something that really needs to be addressed. What do you think the parties, and you have two local party leaders who are standing behind you here, what do you think they need to do a better job of to get more people your age interested in voting and all of these guys, all these people to vote as well. Uh, one thing I think they need to do is do more of these mock caucuses because um, I really had no idea what a caucus was coming into this. I didn't really care about government. I still don't really that much. <laughs> but it's pretty, it's actually more interesting than I thought. Um, so, yeah, these are a really good way, I think, to reach out to the youth, um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of the delegates here would agree with me.